this time I'd like to call to order the Tuesday July 16th 2019 meeting of the Iowa County Board of Commissioners At this time I would ask everyone to please bow your head for a moment of silent prayer and reflection Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Jones, uh, are there any adjustments to the agenda? No, sir. We have no adjustments. Is there a motion to uh, adopt the agenda as it has been presented? Motion to approve the agenda. Motion by Commissioner Norman. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Those like sign. Motion carries unanimously. Uh, we have no uh, special presentations this morning or this evening to make, but we do have a special appointment before the board which is a report from uh, an Iredell County uh, 4-H student, Hannah Lofton, who is going to share with us her experiences as a member of 4-H. So, Hannah, if you could come up, please. Good evening. I'm Hannah Lofton, and I have been a member of Iredell 4-H for eight years. I am honored and appreciative to be able to have this time to speak with you tonight. Take your time and enjoy the shot. Several years ago, I started 4-H sewing. At that time, I was very shy, but I learned the basics of sewing, and as my confidence grew, so did I. This confidence allowed me to be introduced to poultry judging, where, with the guidance of our county extension agents, I learned and excelled to be the second high junior at the state in my very first competition. As the next year approached, Idaho County started a 4-H shooting sports club, the Troubleshooters. My dad is the leader and head coach of this. During my time learning to shoot archery, trap, rifle, and muzzleloader, there were many ups and downs. That is when my dad told me to take your time and enjoy the shot. The wisdom that is in this statement has guided me through my 4-H career. Sewing led to poultry, poultry led to shooting sports, and shooting sports to dairy judging and showing. I would like to share with you some of my 4-H accomplishments. 4-H has allowed me to be county council president, club president of several clubs, state ranked in poultry judging from my first contest seven years ago, to compete and play six years at the state level in archery, trap, rifle, and muzzleloader, and qualify to compete nationally twice at the 4-H National Shooting Sports Championships. I am also a 4-H ambassador and have become the first North Carolina State Shooting Sports Ambassador. And I will be going to Texas in August to be a National Shooting Sports Ambassador. I have competed and I have raised and showed my dairy calves at district and state levels and have competed in the State Dairy Quiz Bowl and Skillathon Contest. I have also competed in dairy judging at the state levels and will be competing on the national level this fall. I'm not telling you about these accomplishments to brag on myself, but to, so you can see what you can accomplish with the right help and guidance. Thanks to the Idaho County Cooperative Extension and staff, these opportunities are there for all our kids in our county. They just have to reach out and try. The 4-H pledge is I pledge my head to clearer thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, and my help to better living for my club, my community, my country, and my world. This has rung true for for me through op the opportunities 4-H has given me. 4-H has given, having 4-H has let me experience different activities with each one. I have learned to take my time and enjoy the shot. It is not always about what you win, but what you take away from the event. I have learned that the experience is more valuable for the next opportunity, and that once you pull the trigger or lead the calf out of that ring, that chance is gone. 
you can only make that chance better. As, or as we say in 4-H, make the best better. 4-H has taught me to think, show commitment or loyalty, and to try and make the things better for the ones around me. Thank you for allowing me the time to tell you what 4-H has done for me and say thank you for your support of this program and remember to take your time and enjoy the shot. Thank you. Thank you very much, Hannah. And uh, we want to congratulate you on uh, being the youth representative for Youth Voice that will be uh, appearing, I believe, uh, at the National, uh, North Carolina Association of County Commissioners. And uh, I know that uh, Commissioner Halp will be there, and uh, at different times, uh, perhaps uh, others will be able to be there, and hopefully we'll make uh, y'all's uh, performance. Uh, it's a wonderful thing to be able to see uh, young people like yourself who have taken advantage of opportunities. There are so many opportunities out there, but uh, people just let them pass, pass them by. And you've grabbed uh, hold of every one that uh, has come by and, uh, you know, made the most out of them. And uh, that is a tremendous testament to uh, not only your uh, own individual leadership ability, but the, uh, the mentors and the folks out there that have uh, made a difference in your life and, and highlighted those opportunities. So uh, we're very excited about what you accomplished and uh, what you're going to accomplish in the future as uh, I'm sure you're going to go on and uh, uh, get a higher education in some venue, and we hope to reel you back into Iron Hill County. Okay. Um, as an expert shot in archery and muzzleloader, uh, let the word go out, don't mess with Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't mess with Hannah. Uh, if, if I could uh, thank Nancy Keith, uh, and 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 the, the whole staff because that even though we have a 4-H coordinator, all the staff participates in that, and um, and it, it really is refreshing. You know, whenever I, I hear you talk about all that stuff, I assume you're not addicted to video games. <laughs> you know, I mean, there's just no time to work it in, and really, I want to tell you, it's uh, you know, it's refreshing to hear that. Please. T what are you thinking of majoring in in college? I have to ask. Agriculture. Education. Uh, of course, <laughs> of course. Which is which is fantastic because if you do, then uh, you know, Iredell County hopefully hopefully has a place for you to come back. So outstanding. It was fun to fun to hear your message. Well, before you depart, if you please come up, we'd love to get a picture with you. I mean, you will. Uh, able to elevate our social status. <laughs> I can't do a thing with my hair. I just... Attributes look great on a resume, by the way. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll move on to uh, item seven. There are no public hearings scheduled for this evening. And item eight, uh, administrative matters uh, that are appropriate for our consolidated consent agenda were reviewed uh, and uh, voted on at the uh, five o'clock pre-agenda meeting and I would uh, encourage anyone that would like to attend those are open meetings and uh, these consent items normally are uh, technical in nature uh, usually uh, presented by staff uh, and uh, at this time uh, Ms. Jones if you'll please uh, summarize those thank you chairman Mallory the first item was a request from the Iredell County Economic Development Corporation to grant a 150-day extension in order to fully execute several economic development incentive agreements. The second item is a request from Mooresville Fire and Rescue for approval to purchase two sets of night vision binoculars for use during water, night water operations and land search functions. Uh, 
they will be using the rescue funds, the reserve funds, and then any remaining balance for that will be used out of Mooresville dollar, dollars for uh, Mooresville Fire Department, Town of Mooresville. A request from the Health Department for approval to sign multi-year contracts with prepaid health plans. A request from the Health Department for approval of Budget Amendment Number 2 in the amount of $155,229 to pay back excess reserve funds for care coordination for children and obstetric care management programs. A request from Planning and Development to consider calling for a public hearing on August the 6th, 2019 in regard to text amendments to the Development Land Code. And that was uh, after conversation, the board agreed by consensus to send that back to the Planning Board with uh, additional consideration for five items. Those items were to explore the attainment issue regarding air quality, to uh, consider and review the erosion, uh, erosion control ordinance, and specifically what that does to streams regarding the minimum setback, to uh, look and give consideration for if this is a temporary project for a specific purpose or a permanent business, the, to clearly define adversely impacted, which is in item D, and the follow and then the fifth one is to explore the option of putting in a review or inspection process. They will take that back for consideration at their September meeting for the planning board. There is a request from the planning and development department to consider calling for a public hearing on August the 6, 2019 in regard to a request by Jimmy McKnight to release zoning and subdivision jurisdiction to the town of Mooresville. A request from the planning and development department for approval of a con a contract related to the 2018 single family rehabilitation loan pool program. A request from the finance department for approval of budget amendment number one to accept and appropriate juvenile crime prevention council level two funding in the amount of $150,000. A request from tax administration for approval of June refunds and releases. A request from administration to designate a voting delegate to the North Carolina Association of County Commissioners annual conference which is scheduled in August of 2019 and that delegate is Commissioner Jean Halp and a request from the clerk to the board for approval of minutes from the meeting on June the 18th 2019. Thank you Ms. Jones. Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda? Motion to approve Mr. Chairman. Okay, motion by Commissioner Norman. All in favor please say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Motion carries unanimously. <coughs> Uh, item 9, there are no announcements of any vacancies for any boards or commissions this evening. Item 10, uh, we do have several appointments to boards and commissions, uh, and uh, I would uh, entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, for the uh, Central Line of Workforce Development, we have one appointment. Mr. Ricky Money has volunteered to serve, and I would nominate him for that position. In the community uh, Mitchell Community College Board of Trustees, we have one position. I'd like to uh, nominate Mr. Kevin Donaldson. He's volunteered uh, to serve in this position for the first time. Uh, Partners Behavioral Health Board of Directors, two appointments. Ms. Jane Henson has volunteered to serve again, and Mr. Michael Hoffman has volunteered to serve for the first time, making that nomination for the two of them. Regional F Aging Advisory Committee, we have one appointment, and Ms. Denise Bayer has volunteered to serve, and I would nominate her for that okay. position. Thank you. Uh, motion by uh, Vice Chairman Bowles. Any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carries unanimously. Uh, item 11, uh, is there any unfinished business to come before the board? Hearing none, I move on to item 12, which is uh, our public comment period. Uh, I am informed that uh, no one has uh, specifically signed up to be heard. Uh, but I would inquire of anyone in attendance if they would like to be heard for an opportunity to hold forth on any subject uh, for three minutes. I don't have any takers this evening, so uh, we will uh, move on to item 13, any new business to come before the board. Hearing none, uh, Ms. Jones, could you please uh, render the county manager's report? Thank you, Chairman Mallory. Uh, just to let the board know that tomorrow is the date that we will be cutting over our ecom from the existing facility to the new facility, which is located on Bristol Drive, and we will be beginning that process at 6 o'clock in the morning. 
Uh, we have our contracted consultant that is, that is going to be there with us the entire process. We will have telecommunicators stationed at the existing facility, at the new facility, and our backup uh, site, which is Mooresville Police Department. We also will have the, e the EOC activated with uh, different personnel for all different uh, uh, entities represented. And we will stay with this process from start to finish, and our contractors will be with us from start to finish until we have successful completion. Um, our assistant county manager, Joe Pierce, is going to be running lead from administration standpoint and there with them to, to help as well. So uh, we're going to be going through this process. It will be a tedious process because it is incredibly complex, but I have given the board on the bench before you two different documents to indicate the extensive planning that has gone into place uh, to prepare for this cutover and transition, and we feel very comfortable and confident that we can tackle anything that comes before us. I cannot say beyond a shadow of a doubt that we will not have any hiccups, but we have prepared and planned for hiccups. It's just a matter of which ones that may occur. So that will start tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock in the morning. Once we have that complete and everything is done and our e-com department is up and running in our new public safety center, we have scheduled the ribbon, ribbon cutting for that public safety center and that is scheduled for August the 23rd at 10 o'clock and more information will be coming out closer to that date. Uh, again, uh, my shameless plug for free mulch. If anybody is looking for good quality mulch, Please feel free to go to our Twin Oaks facility, or if you're in the southern end of the county, please feel free to go to the town of Mooresville's facility on Bandit Lane and get some free mulch. We ask that you go between the hours of 8 and 4, because it does take a little time to load, but it is free, and please take advantage of that, because we are looking to get rid of it. Um, we've, we've received a lot of questions regarding our pool at our recreation center, and just wanted to make sure that I did announce that you do not have to be a member of our recreation center uh, there at Barium Springs. You don't have to be a member to actually utilize the pool. They have day passes that if you just want to go for the day, you can purchase a day pass or they have season passes. So you don't have to have a membership to be able to utilize that pool. And we want to make sure that we announce that because we've had a lot of questions from uh, the public saying they'd love to use the pool, but they're not a member. We, we have accounted for that. You can get a, a day pass or a season pass uh, to utilize the pool. And then finally, to uh, certainly give credit where credit is due and announce that our tax office hit a 99.8% collection rate this past fiscal year for taxes. And that is the highest collection rate Iredell County has ever achieved. And they have done an amazing job. And they take a lot of hits. When it's time to collect taxes, they are not everybody's friend, but they have done an amazing job, and they have worked tirelessly. They have gotten creative. They have worked all kinds of different hours. They have done anything and everything that they could to make sure that they have worked with our citizens, but also tried to make sure that, that they're collecting the taxes that are due. So they did achieve that 99.8% collection rate, and they deserve a lot of credit for that and recognition. Thank you, Ms. Jones. That is indeed a, a phenomenal result, and uh, we want to give a collective shout-out to the uh, tax collector's office and our tax collector, Bill Furches, uh, who uh, it must be uh, that Marine in him that uh, Has to be. comes through uh, in the collection <laughs> process. Um, we did have a closed session earlier uh, to review uh, attorney-client uh, issues, and there's nothing uh, to report out on that. Is there any other business to come before the commission? Mr. Chairman, I'd just like to ask Ms. Jones, um, the school board, Idaho State for Schools last night uh, passed the, uh, pro that where they had reprioritized the uh, facilities task force, did some of their projects as we asked them to do. I'm going to ask her to forward an email to everybody. Uh, Kenny's going to present that to us on August 6th. I, I think that'll be uh, the next meeting. I'm not going to be here for that meeting. So you want us to move his presentation to our second meeting in August? Right. Can you take yeah. care of that? Okay. Yes, we will, we will notify them. Okay. But that'll give everybody an opportunity to review those projects, if that's okay. Yeah. That was good. Okay. Anything further? 
Okay, uh, I'll entertain a motion to recess until Tuesday, July 23rd, 2019 at 6 p.m. when uh, Nancy Keith and her staff will have the opportunity that we always look forward to after a really good meal uh, to receive a report to the people at the uh, Agricultural Center. Is there a motion? Motion to recess. Okay. Motion. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Those likes, sign. We are in recess.